Good morning. This is going to be a video on how to write a professional sounding email. And I want to talk to you about the purpose of an email is to communicate your ideas to another person. Um, I know that in this day and age, you are texting your friends, snapping. Your communications are very brief. They're very short. Um, we even abbreviate things like IDK, um, things like that. Great for personal communications, fun, easy, quick. When you're talking about teachers, professionals, when you get into the business world, even when you're in my class East and you're needing to communicate ideas to other students, other teachers, other community members, you need to have a good solid way of being able to communicate what is in your brain to somebody else. Okay. And so that's going to show you this. So on the Google assignment, I've attached two email examples and I've also attached a lovely um, template that I got from Amy Bell from East. Uh, she teaches a session, a training, student training, um, that I take kids to each year. First year I took Macy and Ella. And then last year we took, uh, this year, excuse me, this year we took Kaylee, Sadie and Callie Peebles. So this is going to be very similar, uh, familiar to you, th what, three, four, five girls, but it's about how to communicate better and do something solid. So I really want to tell you that this email and the other one that I'm going to show you are broken into three things. Introduction. This is who I am. Number two, this is why, this is what's in my head. This is my idea. And number three, this is what I'm needing from the person that I'm emailing. I'm not just introducing myself and sharing my idea. There's a reason that I'm reaching out to them. There's either something that I need from them. Uh, there's something that I, I want to get together with them. I might need, uh, and in Kendall's instance, she's needing students. So let's look at that. Right. And then a salutation as a, Hey, here's how you can contact me. Here's if you need to have any questions, please get back to me. Okay. So if you look here, this is her intro. Um, and again, this example will be on your Google classroom. And she uses this straight from the template. Fantastic. That's fine. But then I know that she did a whole lot more than just the template. And that's what I'm asking from you as well. Do not just fill in that template. Um, it's not just about, it's not supposed to be just a fill in the blank. It is supposed to be a, Hey, here are the things, um, here is a good start, but you need to beef it up and make it more thorough. Okay. So if you're looking here, introduction, and then she starts talking about right here is her idea. Hey, this is my project idea. I want to share that with you. And then from here down is what does she need from them? She emailed to uh, elementary school school teachers. And here she's saying, I need you to help me with picking out some students to help with this. And then she leaves with her ending is very simple and short. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at this email or, and she gave a personal cell number. That's okay. Uh, you do not have to do that. You can give the school phone number with my extension. Um, or if you want to just leave it an email, that's fine too. But giving people multiple ways of contacting you is, is best. Okay. And then I'm going to click over here to Peyton's. Again, this is going to be on your Google Classroom. And she uses very similar. Hey, this is who I am. And she even kind of talks about like her project idea here. Um, and then this is what I need from you. Like I have this idea that I'd like to share. They wrote a book and they wanted to present it to the elementary school. So it was, a, hey, this is who I am and my project. This is my project idea and what we would like to do moving forward because she sent this to Miss Hernandez, the elementary school principal. And so she even says like, I understand if it needs to be done differently. This is just kind of where we were thinking. And she's inviting Miss Hernandez into a conversation of how can we do this? Right? So again, a salutation here. Uh, my team and I hope we can work together to read to the students something, something to close off that email. Okay. So I've given you two good examples. I've given you the template, I've kind of walked you through this. Um, and I hope this helps you to write an excellent professional sounding email. Remember to use your ideas and use that template and make it yours and not so don't fill in the blanks, make it beefier is what I said. All right.